Archbishop Carroll High School, located in the beautiful northeast section of Washington, D.C., next to North Cap uh, Catholic University, right off North Capitol Street. Come with us as we take a tour of our school here, Archbishop Carroll High School. Safety first, we gotta take our temperature. Good to go. Oh, hey, Principal Gilmore, how you doing? Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to our 2021 2022 Fall Hope and Hope. Here we are celebrating our 70th anniversary, and we're excited to be doing that with you. Um, today, you guys will see and hear from all of our diverse academic programs as well as our exciting athletics and student activities. So with that, we welcome you. We look forward to welcoming you into our pride. And I'm going to turn it over to my administrative assistant, Mr. Alfred Burnett. Hello, welcome to the current community. This is the front office, main office, where we get more, a lot of the work done. This is the front desk administrator, Cindy. Hey. How do I? And right here is the director of curriculum, Dr. Banks. Good afternoon, everyone. Again, my name is Dr. Banks, and I am the Administrator of Curriculum Instruction here at Archbishop Carroll. It is a privilege to be speaking to you about our academics here. We are a college preparatory school, um, which means that we offer rigorous uh, subject uh, to prepare you for uh, college and beyond. Um, we have an advanced placement or pre-advanced placement for nine 10th grade and then 11th and 12th we then transition to advanced placement which is through college board so i am very excited for you to preview our um, academics along with our engineering program our gym vance media center we also have the arts here based uh theater i'm, I'm going to head it over to zenobia that's going to then take you tour of our school. Bye. Hello, I'm Zenobia Baber, a 12th grade student at this wonderful Archbishop Carroll High School. Within the last four years, this school has given me many opportunities for a great education, social life, friendships, activities. For example, me personally, I'm a former student, a student athlete, for the volleyball team. The school offers JV and varsity, a student ambassador, a part of the Gym Vance Media Program, a program dedicated to work through journalism and media, and part of the National Honor Society, a program where 12th, 11th, and 12th grade students get inducted for the excellent academic performance. Speaking of academics, here's one of our amazing teachers, Ms. Ross. Hi, welcome. My name is Miss Ross. Come on in. This is the class where most of the Algebra 1 classes take place, and I will be speaking on behalf of the entire math department today. Because, again, I mentioned that this is an Algebra 1 class mostly dedicated to the freshman students, this is one of the boards that I like to do every school year where we make what are called I am, I will statements. The students talk about who they are, um, what things characterize them as a student, and then what kind of goals they might have for the entire school year. I ask that they remain anonymous so that this could be something personal and that they feel charged to do um, for the entire school year. And we can now come here to take a look at some of the math department goals on the board. The first goal talks about the fact that we have integrated a pre-AP track via College Board. Um, the benefits of that would be um, engaging instructional resources as well as learning checkpoints um, spec specified to each student's needs. Um, the second department goal that I want to highlight today is technology integration. Um, again, now that we are a one-to-one -one classroom where every student has Chromebooks, um, it allows for multi-app usage in the classroom and effective practice with immediate feedback. The last goal that I'll talk about today is um, the fact that we want to streamline all the grade level courses. And so from your freshman through your senior year, we want to make sure that when you come in, 
B or algebra or the geometry level and then matriculate to algebra two. And lastly, either pre-calc, advanced algebra or calculus, that all of those courses are streamlined and allow for the students to transition seamlessly and then also uh, matriculate into the college level. Thank you for coming to visit me today. And now I will pass it to the wonderful Ms. Wilson. Ms. Howard. Nope, Ms. Howard. Hi, come on in. I'm Mrs. Howard and I'm the Director of Spiritual Life here at the school. And my role is to help you grow spiritually and to help you develop your relationship with God. One of the other things that we have here is campus ministry, which is a great place for you to come so that you can just quietly study or that you can just have some downtime or maybe to get some advice. Uh, one of the other things that I do here is to coordinate all the masses, retreats, and other spiritual and faith-based activities here at the school. Joining me today are some of our peer ministers, and Bianca will tell you a little bit about what they do. Hi, my name is Bianca Ward Washington. I am a sophomore and a peer minister here at Archbishop Carroll. Um, it is very important being a peer minister because we participate in masses and prayer services and help out with food drive. Um, this room, like right here, is like Ms. Howard said, is a place where students can have a mental break or request personal prayers, with, which would also take place here. All right. Mr. Vitale will tell you about our service learning that is also part of spiritual life. Hi, I'm the service learning coordinator here at Carroll, and service learning is a central part of Carroll High School's Catholic identity, which calls us to serve God's people. Service learning helps our students integrate academic knowledge of social justice and compassion ministries with their lived and growth experience of performing important service like our Carroll Annual Food Drive, which is happening right now. So we look forward to serving with you at Carroll. Thank you so much for coming. And now, if you would just follow me to Ms. Wilson's classroom. Hi, Ms. Wilson. Hi. Come on in. I'm the chair of the business education department, and here we teach accounting, law, and entrepreneurship. But more importantly, we have freshman college seminar, where we acclimate students to um, high school and prepare them for college. Some of the things we do in the freshman college seminar course is to review those soft skills that colleges and careers are looking for. We practice writing skills, participate in virtual college tours, students seem to love that, explore careers, we work in groups, and create digital portfolios. Students get a lot of opportunity to explore colleges and at the beginning of the school year, they look at uh, their vision boards, which they created over the summer during our Lions Academy. Already we can see the students are interested in Michigan, and UCLA. I'm looking forward to seeing the freshmen in uh, the fall, class of 2026. Can't wait to see you. Thanks for coming. Now let's pack it, pass it on to Chike. Hi, my name is Chike Marchiku. I'm a senior and I am a student athlete of Archbishop Carroll. I'm also a office aide for assistant principal of student life Mr. Scott, and here he is. Good afternoon, everybody. Again, I'm Mr. Scott, Assistant Principal for Student Life here at Archbishop Curl. This is Yolanda Chandler McCoy. She's a student um, support coordinator, and then we also have Deshaun Singleton, who's also a student support coordinator. And pretty much this office is to help support the students um, in getting involved in all the school activities. Um, we help with the homecomings, um, field trips, and things of that nature. So we're looking forward to seeing you in the fall. If you have any questions, please contact the Office of Student Life at achsdc.org. Thank you. We pass it on to Mr. Ballesteri and Mr. Burton. Hey, everybody. Uh, my name is Mr. Ballesteri. I'm a science teacher here at Archbishop Carroll. Follow me into our classroom, and I'll introduce you to our science department. <laughs> So the first thing that you guys want to know is that in ninth grade, you guys will be taking biology. In 10th grade, we'll take chemistry, 11th grade physics, 
And then as a senior, you'll be able to take any science elective that you'd like to, uh, environmental science or anatomy and physiology. And I'll let um, our department head, Mr. Burton, tell you a little bit more about our department. Hi, I'm Mr. Burton. And here at Carroll, what we want to do is basically meet the student where they are. We're going to make them better students academically during their four years. What we would like to specialize on, we give lots of hands-on material, like hands-on activities where they become better students. We're going to have them practice working collaboratively, where they get the chance to get to know, but all, to get to know one another, but also work and feel what science is really about. We want to make sure they always see the connection between real world, how science connects to the real world. So those are our goals of the science department. So I'd like you guys to really look at our lab, look at our space, right? And I hope that Carol's the right choice for you. Bye-bye. Have a good day. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you, science department. Welcome. <laughs> so now we're going to keep going on our tour. Thank you, ladies. So we're going to take a trip down here so we can visit our wonderful art department. Please feel free to drop in any questions on the chat as we go through this tour. Also, I want to remind you to please follow us on Instagram, ACHS Admissions, so that you can get the latest information about what's going on. I also want to remind everybody that our application to apply to be part of our Pride is now open on our website. So please make sure that you visit our website so that you can apply and join us for the fall. So let's see if Miss Perry's here so we can take a look at her studio. Knock, knock, Miss Perry. Hello. Hi, Miss Perry, how you doing? Hi, everyone. It's nice to see you. My name is Miss Taylor. I am the visual arts teacher here at Archbishop Carroll. It's nice to meet you. Let me show you some of the artwork that the students have been working on this year so far. Okay, over here at this table, we have some images and some sketches that were done during our homecoming, as well as these are sketches for potential murals that'll be going up. Here, students worked on time-lapse videos where they were trying to put up images of raindrops that were being fallen. Over here, we have our abstract work where students were allowed to create things without thinking. So we took about 10 minutes, let them make artwork around tape, and we removed that. Here, You'll see some of the sketches for projects that the students are involved in, as well as this one right here specifically, which will be put up in the cafeteria for the school this year. Our 70th anniversary, we'll be putting up more murals like this. And this is also some of the artwork that the students have done and I have done myself. In this area here, this is actually <laughs> probably one of the oldest places in Carroll. Everything in here has not been touched for over 20 years. Over 20 years. This area right here is our third room in the studio, and this is our pottery studio. We also have design, and all of the equipment is over here in this corner. And this is the last room, which is where we Fire our kiln, which is this object right here. It's a giant um, oven that we use so that the pottery here in the background so that it can be glazed and fired. So outside of that, that is our studio. I'm glad that you guys were able to come by. I look forward to seeing you again. Have a good day. I am the admissions associate here at Archbishop Curl High School. A question that was in the notes is how many minutes does it take to get to class? We have five minutes. My goal here at Archbishop Curl is to equip you and prepare you for the application process and make sure you just have everything you need or answer any of those questions. Please feel free to email us at admissions at achsdc.org. I want to introduce you to our finance department as well as our guidance department that can speak to you a little bit more about the different opportunities that we have for scholarships. Oh, and also follow us on Instagram at 
HHS admissions. Hi, Ms. White. How are you? I'm good. Hi, welcome to Finance. Good afternoon. Um, I'm gonna, after you've completed your application, what you guys need to do to receive any type of tu um, tuition assistance is you need to do your TADS, T-A-D-S, financial aid applications for 2022-2023 school year, which the um, online portal is available right now. Okay, all families must complete this financial assessment in order to con be considered eligible for any type of tuition assistance. We have internal tuition assistance. We also have the Jim Vance Media Scholarship. We also offer um, Serving Our Children has the um, DC Opportunity Scholarship, and that scholarship is only for DC residents. But there are other things that need to be done, and also for the TADS application, the deadline um, is December 3rd. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to the finance department and we'll gladly to help you and assist you in any way. Thank you and have a great day. Hi everyone and welcome to the counseling hallway. My name is Christine Miller. I'm director of counseling and our sole job in the building is to get you ready and move you from middle school on to college. We do that through academic counseling, through uh, personal social counseling. Um, we have academic intervention, should you need help with your classes. And then finally, you all are going to meet Ms. Powell a little later who coordinates our college counseling. So we are here to help and we look forward to meeting you. Welcome to Carol. Have a great day. I'm Reese Maloney. I'm Reese Maloney. I'm a senior, class of 2022. And you know, some things I like about Carol is just that you get to be you. You know, we have a small student size, but collectively we make a big impact. And with that, we have teachers that are here to help and assist us in any way. We have teachers like the English department who will stay active and help you with your essays or during lunch if you need to. We have teachers like Mr. Burns right here who will talk more about that. Hi, welcome, come on in. So I'm Mr. Burns. I teach the English department. I'm head of the English department. I teach English 10. This is our place here. Uh, and what we do in the English department really is look at a lot of literature as a conversation, as a way of you know, talking, uh, people that have talked, you know, in these works here and they're talking to us and so we work on getting that all together uh, as a way of kind of thinking about what do these people have to say to us and do we agree with that and then saying our own things as well. So we read a lot of different types of stuff, a lot of different genres, uh, all of that is sort of a means of kind of really getting a deep dive, dig down into uh, the craft of writing and, and telling our own story and having our own voice be there. And that's the big thing we want to do for our students is help help them get their voice out so they can you know they can say what they have to say and have what they have to do for that. So that's the English department in a nutshell. This is our little room right here. Uh, take a look and see if there's any questions or anything along those lines. I'll go ahead and turn you back over to Reese, and he's going to take you guys down to the uh, social studies department. Come with me, and we'll go down to the social studies department, which is just a few doors down. Here we have a lot of teachers that are willing to, you know, help you and assist you in any way. The goal is to make sure you're prepared for not only the future, but for life in general. So teachers like Ms. Clark and Ms. Folletti are here. Hello, welcome to the social studies department. We're glad to have you here. I'm Mr. Folletti. I'm going to talk to you in a minute about our electives, but first Ms. Tucker will tell you about our uh, primary classes. Sure. So we start in ninth grade with uh, world history. This is taught by Mr. Bakari. Ninth grade world history is part of our pre-AP program. After that, we transition into 10th grade, which is also world history, still pre-AP, all building up to 11th grade, where one of your options that you can take is advanced placement, U.S. history with me. Um, also, for our 9th and 10th grade, as well as 11th and 12th, we do have a required U.S. government class that is one semester long, and this year that's taught by Mr. Vitale. Yes. 
And so then we have some electives. The first is an African American studies uh, course that uh, Coach Bakari teaches, which looks at that whole the, sort of the course of history from Africa to the present uh, for the, the story of the African American people. And then we have a psychology course, how does the mind work and how does it manifest itself in our behavior. And then we have a philosophy of knowing course, which is about how you know what you know. And we're glad to have all of our students in social studies. We work hard with them and give them the critical thinking skills that they need for the future. Thank you. Hi, my name is David Wilmington. I want to talk about my experience here at Carroll. I'm the class of 2022, big time senior. Um, I'm involved in a lot of things at Carroll. I'm involved with the technical theater, so doing the behind the scenes and the shows and stuff like that. I also play the saxophone. So I play the instrument, I begin the shows. I also do a sport, I run track. Um, I also, I'm in the engineering program. Now, the one thing I want to talk about is my COVID experience. COVID really <laughs> did a number on me this year, or last year, I should say. It really made me feel like I had to push for what I want, mostly on the track because I was still doing classes and stuff like that, but it was all virtual. So I didn't really know. I was like, okay, make my virtual work done. I have to be ready for the track. And I'm not gonna lie, COVID did help me. It meant for me a lot to do what I had to do in the classroom. I had way better grades during virtual. And I also did way better on the track, which is leading me to get offers from big time schools like University of Michigan, Oklahoma, and things like that. So my experience with COVID and everything that happened with me, it was all perfect and excellent. Now we are going to our world language department with Mr. Honey. Hi, welcome. I'm Mr. Honey. I'm the chair of the world languages department and the French teacher. You can come on inside. This is Mrs. Cotto Santos. Hola. So just to tell you a little bit about the world language department, uh, we teach French and Spanish here. Uh, when it comes to the language, we try to concentrate on the four components of speaking, listening, reading, and writing. And we endeavor to expose students to authentic language. So authentic Spanish as it's spoken and authentic French uh, as it is spoken. But in addition to the language component, we also emphasize the culture that goes with the language. So in the case of Spanish, uh, that'd be the culture of Spain and the cultures of Latin America. And in the case of French, France, of course, but also Canada, the Caribbean, uh, West Africa, and Central Africa. So that's just a little bit about our language department, uh, French and Spanish. And with that, I will send you over to the religion department with uh, Deacon Lee and Mr. Manningby. Thank you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in. Uh, let me take this opportunity to introduce myself. I'm uh, Deacon Kenneth Lee. On behalf of Ms. Howard, who is our um, department chair, uh, we have my other colleagues who will go through what the religion department is all about. I am Mr. Seb Manningding. I teach ninth grade religion, which goes over Catholicism. So freshmen study the foundations of the Catholic faith. So I teach them um, about the sacraments, prayers, the mass, and about the Holy Trinity, who God is, who Jesus was, and a lot of other things. So how to be a good Christian moral man and woman. Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Christopher Ficci. I teach the social justice class here at Carroll. This is for juniors, 11th graders. We're really lucky to have a social justice class. It's been a class that's been going on for decades. We learn about justice from the Catholic social teaching perspective, look at it from the example of Jesus, and also other examples, Martin Luther King, Gandhi, Mother Teresa, Dorothy Day. It's a very dynamic class, which gives people a chance to understand how to be peacemakers and justice makers in a world which really needs them right now. Our other uh, religion uh, st of studies is our 10th grade, our sophomore year. You'll uh, learn about Christ and church history. And then during your senior year, uh, you take vocations and world religions it's from me. Uh, it's an opportunity for you to learn about yourselves and your role, uh, the plan that God has for your life, and also to learn about other religions around the world and uh, to go forth and to be good ambassadors and kingdom builders. We hope that you would make Archbishop Carroll High School your choice, your school of choice for the next four years, and we wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Thank you, and God bless.
Bye. Take it away, Miss Bain. Come in, Deacon. Hello. Hi, everybody. I'm Mrs. Ming. I am here in the engineering room, and I am introducing you to our engineering program. So I am the director of engineering, and as the director of engineering, we created a program here at Carroll that's a four-year pathway. You get to take actually up to five courses in the program this year because we've added a fifth course which is called the computer science principles course it's also an advanced placement course so i wanted to walk you around and talk to you a little bit about what it is that we do here so this is our one of our 3d printers i wanted to show you a little bit here um, this particular printer is called a MakerBot. And it prints these. It prints out of plastic. Now, this was programmed to print this. I want to show you that when I take this bottom part off of here. That I now have chains. So this printed flat on what we call a raft. So this is kind of called a raft. And the students learn to create and design their own prints. And they're able to print those here as solid plastic. This one is working on what is nuts and bolts. And I had already printed the nuts and bolts from Chike. Uh, put them together for me and pulled them off of my printer for me. So you can kind of see how that worked. But these were printed from that particular 3D printer. The one that is printing right now is my replicator C18, and that one will print these also, uh, just in a different color. So in intro to engineering design, we do 3D modeling, sketching, and measurement. They learn to accurately measure, they learn to be precise in what they do, and they learn to be able to replicate other shapes. So the students were actually learn how to create this shape. It was printed on this 3D printer, as you can see. And that is one of the things that we are talking about right now, actually. The freshmen have some work that they are doing. And they are recreating these Automoblox cars. These are actually for purchase in real life. And we are able to offer them to you to show you what they look like. So I have four 3D printers, as you can see them. And then there's a fifth one over there that's really small. Just letting you know that that's a desktop version. That is something that you can, print, you can purchase for your house, actually. It's about $200. The rest of these are about $3,000 or so dollars and have been provided for us based on donors and those who have contributed to Carol's engineering program, whom I greatly thank. Here is our table for Three, uh, beyond 3D modeling, where you go from 3D modeling to principles of engineering. So here's principles of engineering, where you actually get to construct different objects. The students worked on um, a wind turbine. Um, it's called kind of, it's, they were given a challenge, basically, to create a wind turbine out of given materials. So these were different designs that, were come up, that they came up with. These are our VEX programs and VEX parts, so they actually get to build robots. This is also a robot, and that's a robot as well. Uh, but they learn about mechanical, electrical, construction, slash civil engineering, as well as, as uh, I feel like I'm missing one. Um. So David, I said chemical, <laughs> mechanical, electrical, mm -hmm. Civil, I did say all four, right? I, was, I, I thought I thought, I thought I missed something. All right, at any rate, so that's the first two. These are considered foundational courses in the program. The pathway, like I said, has five classes. So those are the first two. Generally, ninth and 10th graders take those. Here, I have David Warmington here who is soldering. The object that he is soldering and working on is actually this, which is called a random number generator. This is one of the projects that a student gets to do. This is actually a student project where they get to, if I turn this on and I press this button, it randomly chooses a number kind of like rolling a die. 
They put all the metals on the back and connect everything using a soldering iron and they are taught how to do that as part of the process of learning electronics and circuit design. So David is working on that and demonstrating my soldering iron there. In the meantime, they also learn about all the kind of guts of a, a circuit board, a printed circuit board, where all the little pieces are in the printed circuit board. This is actually our digital uh, multimeter, or not the digital multimeter, but a regular multimeter, but at any rate, you get to see kind of the insides and they learn about all these different components, as well as here we have resistors couple of LEDs and we set this up and actually uh, my LED should light here and I, I use this as an opportunity to talk about how circuitry works. So that was your junior slash senior level class and this is also a junior slash senior level class and this is computer science principles. And this year, I've actually added the TI-84 Plus Python. It's a graphing calculator normally, but you can actually use it to write code and control the TI, and TI is standing for Texas Instruments, the TI Innovator, TI Rover, and we have Mr. Chike here, who's actually already taking this code, put it into the calculator here, it's gonna work that robot for you. It's gonna demonstrate that for you. Okay, TK. Okay, put the other one down. I don't know why I'm just going in a circle. I'm thinking that's because the wheel is kind of stuck. All right, okay, there we go. So put your foot in front of it. So it senses, it has a light sensor, a proximity sensor, distance sensor, and it sense, senses when it's close to something. And we actually use those sensors and program that. Last but not least, um, we are also 